Hi, BlueSpec is my favorite HDL, and here's why. Uh, introductions, I'm a software person. I'm sorry for any lies I tell you. I'm also just a user of BlueSpec. I am not a developer of it. I also apologize for that. And just because I like it the most, that doesn't mean it's the best. Uh, so what's BlueSpec? BlueSpec is an HDL. It's not a high-level synthesis tool. It's just an HDL, a la, a la RTL, but it's complicated. It's recently been open sourced, like a few years ago, but it's been battle tested for years and years and years. There's two front ends for the language. One looks like system very log. The other one looks like Haskell. And it has two backends, which are mostly used. One is BlueSim simulation. The other one is a very log backend. Uh, why BlueSpec? Well, BlueSpec has a few core concepts. One of them is it rewrites uh, modules which have rules into RTL logic. Rules call methods on other modules, and methods imply transactions with enable and ready signals. Um, why BlueSpec as well? It has a whole bunch of battle-tested standard uh, library stuff like FIFOs, clock domain crossing, uh, bus implementations, and a whole bunch of stuff I don't understand. It has uh, a pretty uh, finite state machine generator so that if you want to have things like control logic or tests, you can do that easily without uh, spending too much time of it. And the compiler is really, really smart. So if you like when Rust yells at you, you really like it when BlueSpec yells at you. Uh, but you know, to each their own. Uh, so here's an example, a very simple example of doing a GCD uh, algorithm in BlueSpec. This is a simplified syntax because the real one is a bit ugly. Uh, it should be quite easy to understand what's going on here if you've ever written any other RTL. A rule can kind of translate to an at passage with an implied clock, and your registers are registers, as in Verilog. Uh, the things you might notice is that rules have, can have explicit conditions, and that also uh, your register declarations have this like hash sign, which means here comes a type argument, more on that later. Here's something more complicated. This is how you would do a simple pipeline in BlueSpec. You'll see it's still just rules, and the fun thing is that after you declare your FIFOs, in your rules, you can just NQ and DEQ from, or like push and pop from these FIFOs, and uh, conditions for the rules get implicitly created. In this case, each one of these rules will be its own um, effectively pi pipeline stage that has enable and ready and valid signals that create transactions. So this will just multiply a value by two in a three stage pipeline. Uh, you, can also, you have also significantly more complex type system that are available in most other uh, HDLs. You have things like structs, you have, of course, you have tagged unions, which are really nice. And then because you have tagged unions, you have uh, functional programming style pattern matching, which means um, things like passing around decoded instructions is much nicer. Uh, you can also have much fancier stuff in your type system. You have things like automatically generating uh, properties, automatically generating code for things like packing and unpacking into bit values automatically generating uh, display formatting. You have polymorphism, which means you can have a module that implements an interface, but that interface is also implemented by another module. And you have uh, really fancy things like type parameters and provisos, which are some higher kind of, higher kind of stuff, higher kind of typing stuff. I'm not a FP person. Uh, so yeah, what's good about BlueSpec? It's really uh, high, high development velocity. I'll show an example at the end. The generated code is high performance because none of these abstractions have any real cost to them. They just are abstractions on existing well-tested RTO concepts. It has a very advanced type system, so uh, you can actually express a lot of your logic in the type system, and that gets checked at compile time, which means there's less bugs. It's internally consistent. It's not just Scala or Python with another layer on top of a single language. Uh, it has monads, which might excite some of you. It excites me. And it also is kind of built to be integrated into larger projects, so it, you, it won't really fight against you if you try to like, integrate it into a Bazel build system, for example. Uh, what's, the bad, what's bad? Well, it's, there's not much in terms of public docs and or community, but that's why I'm here. Uh, hopefully, that will maybe let you know that this exists and you want to take a look at it. And also, because it's such a complex language and it's kind of different from any other RTL, it's kind of unapproachable if you don't have more of a computer science background, but with BlueSpec Verilog looking more like Verilog than any other language, Hopefully, EE people will be a bit less scared by it. What's ugly? It's a leap of, leap of faith. Like uh, in the open source world, it's not very much used. But again, give it a shot, maybe for a small project, maybe for a larger one. Uh, the compiler helps a lot. Like it helps you fix a lot of bugs. But some sort of tighter integration, formal verification will be nice. And also, if you want to do things like integrate with existing very log code, you'll have to do a bit of a deeper dive into BlueSpec internals. Yeah, give it a shot. Yesterday, I wrote a simple, simple three-stage pipeline, very large instruction word, RISC-style CPU. You can clone this from there and run it. And it's 200 lines of code, including the comments. And hopefully, it's a good introduction to the language. Uh, if you want to stalk me, here's my contacts. Thank you.